Hello, I'm ABX Slickout and welcome back to the Minecraft 1.5 Aquatic Update video. So I wanted to talk about the update a little more because, you know, it's update day and that's what I tend to do. And I wanted to talk about this update because there is a little bit of a secret feature. It's a really tiny one you can see on screen right now. You might not even be able to see it. And I also wanted to talk about the store update because the Minecraft store updated at a different time to the main game and it didn't include one of the key things that was meant to be in this update uh, that wasn't officially announced but was said multiple times by Sfax. And I wanted to talk about what's going on with that as well as the store content and just a few other thoughts that hopefully you do or enjoy from today's video because honestly this is the sort of news video where it's like we're learning as we go along when it comes to Minecraft Bedrock everything isn't strictly defined a lot of things change all the time a lot of things seem to happen differently to how you might expect and as someone who mostly covers Minecraft console and covers Minecraft as a whole some of those things confuse me and I think there's a little bit of that confusion cleared up today but first let's talk about what the secret feature is they have added a secret new splash to the game discord.gg slash Minecraft was not in the game before at least not according to the Minecraft wiki page which means that in 1.5 they have added for the first time a brand new splash which says discord.gg slash minecraft so if you're not familiar with discord then that's the minecraft discord it's a place where you can discuss with other minecraft fans and if you're going to go there anyway i'd also recommend checking out discord.gg slash toycat that's a discord for your boy toycat right here uh, where you can hang out with other like-minded people who like following updates and secret features or just you want to talk to them about life like whatever's going on in there these days uh, you can see a lot of that it's a fun place uh, but that's just something i wanted to mention there's a brand new splash in this update you might have missed uh, obviously there's the brand new background and there's the brand new um, title menu which you probably haven't missed but let's talk about the store now because the store did update but it didn't update at the same time as the game so the most notable place you could see this was in the minecraft switch version where there's been a solid like 14 hours between them when the game updated and when the store updated however the minecraft store and minecraft uh, you know every other minecraft bedrock platform took an extra two hours to update after 1.5.0 came out so you might say why is that a big deal to cat why does anyone care like i mean Maybe you don't even care about the store as a whole, like, you know, none of this stuff interests you. Like, I don't need skins or texture packs or anything like that. But the reason that it should interest you is because it kind of implies that the behind the scenes architecture of Minecraft is done entirely separately to the, you know, the physical updates that we see every day. Which means that Minecraft can be updated, you know, right now only in terms of the store and a few visual changes like that. But a few things in Minecraft can be changed behind the scenes and the way that it's done separately kind of lets you know that Minecraft store stuff isn't going to be linked to Minecraft updates in the future. Because because even in this case where they had a huge Minecraft update, they still didn't link them up, which to me is telling in its own way or interesting in its own way. It's just something I want to mention. Also, uh, this is a huge Minecraft store content drop. There is, as you can see right here, 12 separate pieces, at least as far as I can tell. And uh, there's a few really interesting things that you can kind of uh, notice from these, uh, like the things that were released. And again, I want to share it with you because it's kind of stuff I'm learning as I go along. And maybe if you follow Minecraft, it's interesting to you too. So. The first thing you'll notice is off these 12 maps, you'll notice how none of them are by the same creator. We've got maps by Pathway, 57, Raspberry, Cycle. Basically, if you look at all the maps and who they're by, they're all by different, uh, you know, creators with uh, the single, uh, <laughs> I was going to say the single exception, but that, you know, with no exceptions that I can see, at least, if you can see one, let me know. But it seems as though there's no actual exceptions. Every single map is made by a different creator. And this is something interesting where it seems like Minecraft values these store spots. Uh, something that seems to be true from the creators I've spoken to is that they, the Minecraft store limits how much content you can put up. So every, you know, store gets like a slot they can use. And it seems like 10 slots were made available today. So 10 different pieces of content from 10 different studios will go up. Obviously, I don't know how many come out per month per studio. I think that's an agreement you make with Microsoft. But just fun little fact, uh, the Minecraft store slot just by having anything here, whether it's the best map in the world or whether it's the worst map in the world, it still seems to have a similar uh, store value to Microsoft that they give out to you. So again, interesting enough to me, I care about the business end of things, but you know, maybe I maybe that's just because I did the whole thing. But let's now talk about um, the fact that Minecraft store content has a really interesting, uh, so out of the maps, but uh, things that's been released, by the way, there's a skin pack, which, you know, it looks nice, but it makes you question, like, I mean, is this, is this the perfect skin pack for me? And you might question, why does a skin pack like this, for instance, you know, no offense to 57 Digital, I'm sure this is delightful, um, you know, like, but why is this skin pack worth the same as uh, the skin pack I just went through, which has a map built in and has, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the same number of stuff with it? Uh, what, what is the, oh no, that's only five skins, but why do skin, why would they charge that much for what is clearly not the highest of end skin packs uh, and the simple answer to that one is skin packs on the prices are not decided by the map creator and it's something I feel like you got to give them a break for sometimes I'm not sure how much of the content isn't decided by them but it seems as though uh, you know when they pick the number of skins in there, Microsoft decides the price, not them. Even if they wanted to charge 160 for this, uh, I think now slightly updated, outdated, 
uh, skin pack, but if they wanted to charge that much, they're not allowed to. It's something at the store. So that's something interesting I did, uh, you might not realize. And again, if we go through all this stuff one by one, uh, you can see how both the server owners, Lifeboat and MPVP, uh, Mindplex had one last week, uh, have a map in here. There's some skins going on here. And yeah, you can see that overwhelmingly, most of the content that comes out seems to be skins. Most of the cheaper content that comes out seems to be skins, with a few exceptions being stuff like this, which by the way, super beautiful map. This is, uh, to me, if you were gonna friend free 10, I feel like you'd get something from this, cause like there's some fun things to it, uh, versus the other stuff. But again, I have like a bias against skin packs. I'll admit that, I'll acknowledge that. So yeah, the other thing worth mentioning is Survivor Games Origins did come out. I believe I am, uh, you know, there's gonna be some form of stream on Thursday involved with that. I'm looking forward to that, playing survival games like in Minecraft rather than on a server for the first time. It might be a lot of fun. It might look be a lot better. In fact, I'm probably gonna purchase this like super, super, so, you know, let's just purchase it right now. Who's gonna stop me? But uh, yeah, it's something where I just wanted to mention that like probably doing something with that soon. So uh, if you wanna see the multiplayer version, a lot of people said they wanted to see what it looks like in multiplayer. If it's such a good multiplayer map, then why didn't I do that? So that's something I'll be going through. Um, and uh, yeah, I also wanted to mention just something interesting behind the scenes you might not have realized while we're here is that even you might think like, wait, Toycat, you showed this map up before. Why did you have to purchase it just now? Why did it cost you 830 mine coins? And by the way, didn't you say it cost a thousand? Uh, so one, it seems like it was cheaper than they expected or that they told me or that I made some mistake with their currency conversion. And uh, yeah, to the fact that you can actually give out Minecraft store maps without having to necessarily buy them. There's a kind of basically a process where if you, but you know, you can share the MC world for any completed marketplace map and it's going to be the exact same thing. The benefit of buying it within the game is that it does update speed, you know, which means that when this game map updates, you'll be able to get it, you know, updates for it without having to download a new world each time, which is the big benefit of the store. And knowing that that's the case makes me feel a bit better about the whole store stuff on PE and uh, Windows 10 because you are getting a better service when you buy in game. At least that's uh, something I've understood, uh, come to understand in the recent time. So speaking of updates to Minecraft store content, Let's go through the last thing here, because texture packs, there's the pure BD craft texture pack, which is really happy that it can do 128X uh, plus HDUI, but wasn't it meant to be able to do 256X? So yeah, the thing about this texture pack is it was meant to come with a, a, a fourth option to allow you to do 256X, and he said that would be coming super soon, like this week, three weeks ago, and then he said it's with Microsoft like two weeks ago, and the next thing they released was this update. But it seems like either they didn't release their update or he didn't release his. I'm not too certain, but it seems like, again, there's only three options right now. There's no 256X right now, and given that I'm on an Xbox One X, my console can definitely handle it. I don't know why there's not a 256X option yet, uh, but yeah, it hasn't received an update. It seems as though maybe individual map creators can update their maps whenever they want. It doesn't have to be done the same time as everything else. Again, that's how it looks for me. It's weird stuff, I can't be certain of why. This is a funny bug, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. <laughs> uh, give it a, uh, we just learned something about how the background works too. Um, give it a like if you do like it, cause it helps out the channel a lot. Let us know you do uh, like the Minecraft uh, news videos, even this one where we're just kind of going over something that like, it didn't happen, it's bizarre, and it links into a bunch of store stuff that I learned. Uh, maybe you learned something about it too, or maybe you hate this. This was the first video you've seen the channel in a while. Either way, I hope you got something from it. Uh, check out the Update Aquatic playlist if you want to see uh, stuff like that going on. And yeah, I just wanted to make this video to let you know that, like, you know what? Minecraft Bedrock is a always learning process. Stuff like the store, it exists, it hasn't existed very long. There aren't many consistent trends, but I'm trying to learn them to help make the better news videos for you. And I hope that comes across, and I hope it's something uh, that you learn from, appreciate, or you know what? I, you've watched it this far on the video, so thanks for the ad revenue regardless. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>